Elva stamp birthday celebration a little over two and a half hours away for that first step. These ladies all the way from Birmingham and all the way from East Memphis, the one and only Mr. Sam Phillips, the founder of Sun Records, coming up in just a moment. George Klein, TNT, baby. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies. Elvis celebration. It's a great event. We're here with the stamp release and, of course, Elvis's birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, here with me, the legendary Mr. Sam Phillips, the founder of Sun Records, the discoverer of Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, Bill Justice, Charlie Rich, Jerry Lewis, and the king himself, Elvis, an original member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the godfather of rock and roll, if you will, Sam C. Phillips. Sam, your overall thoughts of tonight of the stamp issue and everything. Well, George, I'm standing here looking over at Graceland. It is pouring rain here. People are everywhere. It's as festive as anything I've ever seen. 5,000 estimates, Sam. And I think that, without a doubt, this shows, and Ted Turner's smart enough to know it, <laughs> and Ted Turner and Elvis Presley and Sam Phillips have a whole lot of things in common. You can say that again. And I'll tell you why. Why? Because we have never done anything that's conventional. <laughs> Believe me, right. look, let me tell you something, this crowd, the way the team that he's got here that's handled this thing, and you can think about this going around the world and the impact it's gonna have, and I can tell you, he has done scooped him again. Turner, You see, you got that right. Now, Sam, Elvis's early years, they're showing that on TNT in conjunction with Elvis Week on TNT. Your thoughts about the early years when Elvis, you know, came over to 706 Union? Well, Elvis is, to me, uh, a son, Today, he's still alive, always will be. People talk about death and this sort of thing. I think Elvis is proving that you can live on. And you don't have to be a preacher to do that. You don't have to be God Almighty to do that. But you have to be a man that came from the soil. This guy came from the soil just like I did. Most of the people in America, most of the people around the world. And people wonder why that Elvis Presley has lasted, lives in the hearts of people, is simply because he was one of us. One of us that happened to have some extremely beautiful talent. And let me say one other thing about Elvis. Of all the people I've ever known in my life, he was a funny man, a beautiful man, a sweet man, a talented man, a man that never forgot a man in his life. His life was dedicated to all of us. He lived it that way, he died it that way, and he is watching in this situation right now, knowing because there is a hereafter, and he believed in it. Bless your heart. Gee, what a beautiful statement from Sam C. Phillips, the founder, the discoverer of Mr. Elvis Aaron Presley. I'm George Klein. We're live on location at Graceland in conjunction with the Elvis stamp. How do you think Elvis would have felt about getting his picture on a United States of America postage stamp, Sam? My son Knox and I were coming over in uh, Ted's long limousine tonight. And I said, you, you know, when we came out with That's All Right Mama, and we were castigated, and to think now, that was 1954, right? That a step, a, a stamp, a postage stamp, which is significant around the world, right. from a free nation, right? that you have a poor boy that could sell more stamps than presidents. If we had kings and maharajas, I think he would have actually exceeded that. That tells us all something about a free nation, good people, common people, which I, George Klein, Elvis Presley, we are common people. And I think Elvis would have been very, very proud of having his picture on that stamp. Oh, no doubt about that, none whatsoever. But I can tell you also the modesty that Elvis had in so many ways. A lot of people think that he wasn't modest. He actually was very modest. And yet at the same time, he could, he could turn you around with letting you know, man, I do know what I'm doing, you know? Quoting Sam Phillips, if you ain't doing nothing original, baby, you ain't doing nothing. Is that right, Sam? That's right. George. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, the Elvis stamp and birthday celebration in conjunction with Elvis Week on TNT, I'm George Klein with Sam Phillips. 
George Klein, live from Graceland. The Elvis celebration, the stamp, the birthday. All right. This guy played Sam Phillips on this series of which you're watching. I, Jordan Williams from Atlanta, GA. Jordan, your comments. Uh, well, George, you're doing a great job, and uh, I'm real happy to be here, and all these great fans out here uh, standing up under the uh, rain and the cold weather, and I'm freezing, but the music's hot, the show's great, and I'm happy. You're on the show. Let me get a little bit of Sam Phillips. Uh, well, George, let me tell you something now. <laughs> all right, give me an E. e. Give me an L. 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 Give me a B. B. Give me an I. I. Give me an S. S. Who was the king? Elvis. Thank you, Jordan, so Thank much. Thank you, George. All right, I appreciate baby. it. Give me five, baby. Yeah. Give it back to you. All right. There we go. Jordan Williams, Sam Phillips, series tonight, TNT. Me and Jordan, he came all the way from Atlanta, GA. Atlanta, Atlanta, is that right? Hot Atlanta, Where, where yeah. it wasn't raining. Came up every well, <laughs> no, Hey, we're back to TNT. Come, don't go away, because we got a few surprises for you tonight. More than a few. George Klein, I don't know if we were still live. We are? Yeah, they say we are. Well, they said we are. Okay. Out years ago. Say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, don't go away, America, because I'll be right back. I'm George Klein for TNT Live from Graceland. The Elvis Stamp debut now is just, yeah. oh, just almost two hours away now. We are live at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. It's all in conjunction with the Elvis Presley stamp debut. And up to, on top of that, his birthday at midnight tonight. We're not far off now. Won't be long. That first Elvis stamp will be issued. This is George Klein. We're on location. We're right here at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee on a cold winter night. It's raining, but it doesn't dampen our spirits, does it, Marion Cock, Elvis's private nurse? Not a bit. Not a bit. This is just a great night, and the sun's out, and the stars <laughs> are out, and everything's perfect. Mrs. Cox, was it, what was it like being Elvis Presley's personal nurse? Well, it was something that every nurse dreams of, but it will never happen for them. What about because those midnight back rubs? What about those midnight back oh, rubs? we had lots of those. <laughs> you, know, you know, George, there was one night that we were we were in, up in Lisa's room, and I had been rubbing Elvis's back, and I started moving my shoulders like this, and he said, what's the matter, Miss Cock? And I said, well, my shoulders are pretty tired. You know, I've been rubbing your back for a while, and he said, I'll rub yours now. Did he do and it? And he did. Did you let him continue? Yes, I did. <laughs> I let him continue with the how did, it, how did his hands feel on your back? Oh, listen, I'm going to tell you something. That that man, you know, he was just really such a great guy. How handsome was Elvis? Background. How handsome was Elvis, Mrs. Cox? You were his nurse. You know, I, I really will have to tell you that he was he was more than handsome. In person, he was, he was better looking, most, wasn't he? Yes, yes. You know, the, the films and the pictures have never done him justice. He absolutely was What the about most, those beautiful blue eyes? Just knock your eyeballs out. <laughs> Mrs. Cox, what impressed you most about Elvis, really? I think the thing that always impressed me most about Elvis was that he cared so much about other people. You know, he really did, George, and I've told you this before, that Elvis really felt like he was his brother's keeper. He thought that he should feed the hungry and that he should clothe the naked, and he certainly thought he should give what he had to others, and he really did that. What do you think Elvis would have thought about tonight, Mrs. Cox? I think Elvis is sitting up there looking at it, saying... Gee, look at all those people in the rain. Isn't this something? He would have been really proud because he, he was very be patriotic, so, wasn't he? He would be so proud, and he was extremely patriotic. Elvis was just a really good person. You know, uh, he always wore the American Eagle on his belt, and that yes. was in, uh, in in tribute of America's uh, you know symbol. He loved his country, and and he there is not anything he wouldn't have done to always make this a better. Now, place Mrs. To Cox live. has written a book, America, called uh, "I Called Him Babe." That's what, right. What was? Well, how did that come about? Well, it really didn't start out to be a book because I just wanted to put my memories down of Elvis after he left after he left us because I thought, well, gee, one day I'm going to be old and I may not remember some of these things and I would want to read back and see what, what I had maybe forgotten. And Vernon asked me if I would please have my book published and I said, no, 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 because I, I really couldn't do that. And he, because he asked me to, I went, I did go ahead and do it. I noticed you have the Elvis TLC around your neck and I have the Elvis TCB, That's which right. was Elvis's logo. That stood for tender loving care. And this took for taking care of business, right? right. And that was Elvis's personal logo. Elvis gave me this and I know he gave you that. That's right. He put it around your neck, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I didn't take it off for, uh, oh, almost four and a half or five years. And I had to go in the hospital for surgery. And that was the first time I'd ever had it off. You know, that was the thing. And when Elvis uh, first gave it to you, he would put it around your neck himself. He wanted to yes. do that. It was a personal situation. Yes, yes. Well, Mrs. Cox, we're certainly proud to have you with us tonight. I know you do a wonderful uh, tribute for Elvis in August where it's a money raiser in Elvis's honor. Yes, it's the Elvis Presley Memorial Day. Dinner. 
and all of the proceeds go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation in Thanksgiving for the life of well, Elvis Bless your heart. Thanks for coming out. It's a most historic event, uh, Mrs. Cox. The stamp's going to make its debut at midnight yes. tonight. They're showing Elvis uh, uh, the early years on TNT all night long. They made it into sort of a mini-series. They got a movie in between. Right. It's a great week on TNT. It's Elvis week. They're showing Elvis series, Elvis movies, Michael St. Gerard. It's just a wonderful event. It, it really is. I'll tell you, I am I'm just overwhelmed. This is great, and, and I, I am so appreciative of all these people that have come out here and been in the rain and have stood for hours, and Mrs. it's just really a great Mrs. tribute Cox, to Elvis. Did Elvis ever kiss you? Yes. Where did he kiss you? On the... Ah, thank you. We got to go back to the trailer. We got to go back to the series. He was a good hugger, too. Could Elvis kiss good? Oh, well, he, I said he was a good hugger. Oh, a good hugger, and other things, too. <laughs> I can talk to her like that, America. She's a dear friend of mine, Mrs. Cox. Uh, we got to get back to the Elvis, the uh, early years, Mrs. Cox, on television, on TNT all night and all week and this weekend, too. So stay with us because we got more surprises. I'm George Klein, live for TNT from Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, United States of America. You got it, bud? George Klein, live from Graceland, the home that Elvis paid $100,000 for, 18 rooms. And we're right here with a postage stamp and birthday celebration. It's a great event, a most historic one. The United States Navy is here. We certainly appreciate them coming by, the color guard, with the Cracker Jack color guard. Is that right, guys? All right, we salute you. Yes, sir. Drop the microphone, but that's all right. It comes right back to you when it's attached like that. Anyway, we got a couple of surprises for you throughout the evening. We're going to call Sam Phillips back for an encore. His son, Knox Phillips, is going to be with us. And some more interesting tidbits are going to be happening in just a few moments. I hear the uh, entertainment has already started on our soundstage. Graceland is in the background. They have a humongous uh, replica of the postage stamp of Elvis. Lisa, uh, Priscilla, they've all arrived in Memphis, we understand. Uh, that is not written in concrete, but that's the word that's filtering through the crowd tonight. There's 5,000 people out here tonight, and it's a marvelous event, a most historic one. So stay with us. Don't go away, because we have got some prizes for you coming up right after these messages. I'm George Klein for TNT Live from Graceland in Memphis. I don't want to be a tiger Since tigers are played too rough I don't want to be a lion Hey! Probably, ladies and gentlemen across America, the very first big news media event of the year, 1993. It's the Elvis Stamp debut celebration in conjunction with Elvis's birthday, and it's Elvis Week on TNT. We're seeing the series, we're seeing some episodes that they've never before seen, and also we got Viva Las Vegas with Ann Margaret in there. We'll tell you an Ann Margaret story later tonight, and Ann, if you're watching out in Hollywood, you better get close to that screen, because I'm going to tell it all tonight. Sam Phillips with me. The great Sam Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. Sam was by earlier. We persuaded him to come back for an encore. Sam was the man who discovered Elvis, founded Sun Records. But more than that, he was more than a, a record company guy and a recording artist. Sam was like, a, if you will, a surrogate type father, uncle to Elvis. George, I want to tell the people a little story. I've always been interested in law and medicine and didn't know much about either. I don't remember whether you were with us that night or with Elvis that night. He came out to my house out on Menden Hall, and he came in and he really looked worried that night. Now, usually when he came to our house, it was going to be an all-night affair. We came in pinball time. machine and playing skill pool. Daddy O'Dewey do it, be around, but this night, Elvis didn't have that that steam or that fervor in his eye, you know, as only Elvis could have. About 30 minutes after he got into our den, he motioned for me to come over and he got up and we walked. He said, could we go around in the living room and, and talk for a minute, Mr. Phillips? I said, well, certainly, Elvis. We got around there and he said, um, I tell you, I, I, I don't know, I may have some kind of a bad disease. <laughs> a bad disease? A bad disease. <laughs> and listen, this guy was as solemn as you can get. <laughs> he says, I've got on my, he didn't say exactly stomach, but just above some uh, hair down neighbor, there. On yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Right below that navel. He's, all right, we'll, we'll put it that way. He said, 
and he, and he actually let me see it. I said, Elvis, that's an old carbuncle. Now, I said, you're not old enough to know this, but that's just an old rising, an old carbuncle. He was really worried as to whether he might have some real bad disease. I called up Dr. Moskowitz, my doctor. We went down to the emergency room. He didn't say a word. Now, Elvis didn't say a word all the way to the hospital. We got down there, the doctor there in the emergency room said, Elvis, you got a nice looking rise in there, boy. I says, you know, by that time, all the girls knew that he was, he was in the hospital emergency room. The nurses couldn't do anything, but this, this internist came in, lanced that. The dang thing went up about three <laughs> feet in the air. You know, one of those old, one of those old carbuncles that fly. Yes. But anyway, the, the, the whole point was, after that, we got out of that when we finally could get out of the uh, hospital emergency room because of the girls and all that. On the way back home, when he hadn't said a word, all the way down to Baptist Central Hospital, he, we couldn't shut him up, man, you know? <laughs> and the doctor said, no, Elvis, you don't have some bad disease you're gonna die of. He says, you can still run around with the girls, no problems. Oh, that's Sam Phillips is only one of a kind. Sam, you know how much we appreciate you coming by to our TT and microphone tonight for Elvis Week and all. Well, let me say this, George, you have done a masterful job. This Thank is not you. easy. No. It's really not easy. There's so many things you want to say about Elvis. And not because we love him, not because he was one of the greatest entertainers, if not the greatest I've ever known. I can tell you right now, when you see these people here and everyone hanging on to everything that you say, it's a little difficult task to do, let alone the <laughs> multi-millions across the world. But you have done a good job. Thank you, I Sam. I appreciate it. Let me say one other thing. Yes, sir, Mr. Phillips. This crew that TNT sent up here, right. they are the most hip, on the ball, bunch of people to work with that I've ever seen. Nothing could have been more appropriate Bless your than heart, these Sam. people Thank you. here for Elvis Presley. Great. You know, a lot of people don't know that Sam at one time was a radio announcer in his early on career. Sam, I want you to give the break back as we go back to Elvis, the early years of the TV show. So Sam Phillips, George Klein, live from Graceland for TNT. How about you doing the break for me? Well, you know, folks, this is George Klein right here. And you're Sam Phillips. This is Sam Bo Slickamo here. <laughs> and we're going back to TNT and have a little more of Elvis. How the about early that? Years, the huh? early years. The early years. And Margaret and Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Celebration, Pennsylvania, Texas. They're here from all over America and from all over the world. Hi, everybody. I'm George Klein, live on location for TNT at Graceland. It's a tremendous event tonight. It's the Elvis stamp debut coming up, oh, just almost an hour and a half now, and his 58th birthday. Stand by, and we're going to be talking to one of Elvis's real bodyguards as you're singing tonight on TNT. George Klein, hoping you'll stay with us throughout the evening. It's going to be great. Elvis stamp debut, along with Elvis's birthday at midnight tonight. We're not far away. A most historic event. event